Hey guys, Budget Jedi here. Received a package today from a YouTube friend, Alias Angel Alias. Let's open it up. Alias Angel Alias sent me a whole bunch of things. First, these little robots. I think this is a Creo uh, Skywarp. Got these little 4-inch Gundam figures. Um, I'm not sure who they are, what they are, but they are super awesome. And I love little transforming robots. Next, we have a whole bunch of stuff from Celebration 6. I think he attended Celebration 6 and was kind enough to share a, a bunch of things with me. Got these buttons that are kind of weird, but one of them has like a Dark Horse logo, I think. I'm going to change that into a heart. Maybe I heart Star Wars. And of course, he sent me some more uh, fighter pods. That's super cool. Thank you so much. Look at this. A galactic passport. This, I guess you can bring this to like celebration conventions and have it stamped. Really cool. That is nice. Check this one out. It's a flyer for Dave Dorman, an artist. And it's got this little picture in the back of one of his drawings a really really nice one and it looks like he included a poster from the DK publishing company it's got a picture of the Darth Maul with the words discover the dark side how awesome is that who better than Darth Maul to represent the dark side finally guys this is what I've been wanting to show you thank you to alias angel alias for getting me none other than the Hot Wheels 150 scale the bat that's right very glad to have this uh, this is, of course, Batman's flying vehicle from his recent movie, The Dark Knight Rises. And so, uh, it has not shown up in stores in my area. But, with this, I'm pretty much done collecting my 150 scale Batman vehicles. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and open this up and add it to my display case. And there is my new The Bat. And that's my... Hot Wheels Batman collection. Just to give you guys a quick look, this is my display cabinet. On top there I've got my Star Wars uh, action figures, vintage and modern. This is my vintage diecast vehicle collection. And here is back to my Batman. So just wanted to give you guys a look here. This in the back row uh, it's all the 1989 Batmobile and Batman Returns vehicles. I've been a fan since, you know, of the Dark Knight. Or I should say, I've been a fan of the uh, black-suited Batman since 1989. Where Michael Keaton first played Batman Returns. And that is, of course, the 1990 Ertl Batwing. Made from, completely from die-cast metal. Uh, and this is what I've gotten so far. Uh, gotten the Batwing with opening canopy very cool and this is the bat missile again with uh, opening canopy and very detailed rubber wheels give you guys a look at this uh, this is the bat this is the best version of uh, bat missile I want to say that they have out there um, this is the 1989 batmobile itself obviously Again, with sliding cockpit and rubber wheels. Uh, this one is the Battle Damage version from the Toys R Us 3-pack. And I have not been able to achieve or acquire the non-Battle Damage version yet. And moving on here, we've got the 1989 Batmobile Armored Vehicle or I should say the cocoon and I believe this is the coolest version they have out there which is it has the sliding armor makes it look like there's a an actual Batmobile under there and of course the bat boat this is a little bit hard to find right now it's got opening canopy and it's made from die cast metal Pretty nice and heavy. And uh, of course in the front I've got the bat thanks to Alias Angel Alias. This thing is absolutely awesome. I've got to show you guys the bottom part of this. It's got tons of detail including the propellers there. Down to the weapons and the bottom of the cockpit. Now there is no Batman inside, but you can see two seats, so that's pretty cool. I think they did a great job on that. 
And moving on next, we've got the 150 scale bat pod. Uh, just a little note, this is not the same as the single carded bat pod that they sell um, in the Dark Knight Rises line. This is actually from the two pack of bat pod and uh, Harley Quinn armored vehicle. What I like about this bat pod is it's in scale with the custom motors tumbler which I think is the most accurate in terms of size uh, that they've ever made and also the sculpt of the wheel there in the front that's probably the most accurate tumbler there is in this kind of scale and as you can see the wheels are matching so it's just the perfect size but uh, that's pretty much it I know that uh, this is kind of a small collection but this is pretty much all that I wanted to collect except if I find the non battle damage version of the 1989 Batmobile I will probably try to grab that alright just to give you guys a peek at what else I have down here I've got the Ertl 1990 Batmobile from the Keaton movie uh, that's the Dark Knight Tumblr and here is the Hot Wheels 143rd scale Batmobile it's got an extendable turbine engine, it's die cast metal, it's got rotating guns some of you probably already know about this vehicle and it's got really nice detail in the cockpit there as you can see uh, this is definitely one of my favorite collectibles and uh, they just re-released it this year and over here we got some random cars that I use for Bat Batmobile or Tumblr dioramas that's in the uh, 64 scale So, and back here I've got the Penguin got that on clearance for about three dollars it's a pretty good deal okay guys overall that's what I have in terms of a uh, Hot Wheels collection 150 scale and actually different scales from different times as well and uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video